freestyler. Doom, doom, doom. Mucking up a fog. Catch me as I have my dad. I have to giggle. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with one of my besties, Karima. Hello. We've done videos in the past, but today we're back with another Chatty Get Ready With Us. Today we will be creating these really chic makeup looks that have a punchy bright lip with contour and really perfect skin. We also did a video over on Karima's channel, so make sure to check her out. So while this look is quite simplistic but sophisticated, the look on my channel is a little bit more relaxed with kind of wavy hair, beachy skin, that sort of vibe. Today we'll be playing with the Rimmel, the only one matte lipsticks. This is a brand new range. It's got some really beautiful punchy colors in there and they're all matte, but they feel like a satin on the lips. They are super duper comfortable. So if you're kind of over that whole uh, liquid lip trend, a bit of a crusty lip or matte lipsticks that don't feel all that nice, I think you guys will really enjoy them. So without any further delay, let's get on to the get ready with us. Apologies in advance for our weirdness. We can't help it. We can't help it. What foundation are you using today? Okay, I'm using a mix. This is my mix that I use whenever I want my skin to look really perfect. It's the Armani Luminous Silk and the Maestro Glow. The Maestro Glow is like a mixer for any dry skin type. If you add this to any foundation, it just makes it that much more beautiful on dry skin. Wow. I think I might actually go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter and a little drop of my favorite Clinique one because I don't want full, full coverage and then I don't want too dewy. I think... I always mix foundations. Mix <laughs> yeah. So Clinique Super Balanced Silk and... Urban Decay All Nighter. And just before I put on my foundation, I'm just going to color correct a little bit under my eyes. This stuff is bomb. Have you tried this? No, what is oh. it? Should I use it right now? Yeah, I feel like you should. Do you like peach correctors? Yeah. Okay, you should give this a go. Give this a so good. So good. So good. <laughs> I'm always messing with Karima <laughs> and taking the, taking the mickey out of her for her Australianness. It's not, you're not even that Australian. It's just so funny to go so nice. So good. <laughs> Oh, she's nice. It's it's really lightweight, but it counteracts any of that blue purple hue. Mm. And then you can just follow it up with your foundation and regular concealer. But it does most of the work. You know? Yeah. We've got to come in. We're always. But then we're like, get intimate. <laughs> My nipple is on your like elbow. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> this is the unpretty blending. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is camera blending. One eternity later. <laughs> Ooh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. We're on to concealer? Yeah, I'm just using the MAC Pro Longwear. It's the only one that's working for me right now. What are you using? This is the Armani High Precision Retouch. It's oh, actually... I've seen you use this the other day. Yeah, so it's it's a good highlighty concealer. If I want to create really perfect skin, it really illuminates any shadowy areas. I love the Pro Longwear because it's kind of like one of my lazy products because I can use it for the pigmentation on my eyelids, for concealing and for highlighting, but all at the same time. Yeah. So if I go in with a beauty blender, it kind of just is a three in one for me. Did you like Pro Longwear? Yeah, I do like Pro Longwear. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I'm in love with the shape love of you. you. I kind of wanted somebody else. Oh, help yourself. <laughs> do you ever do that? You see your friend using something and you're just like, give what? that to me. <laughs> what this? I want some ideas. I definitely don't need it, but... It's got a very thin texture, so I feel like you can kind of go crazy with it and it doesn't get cakey. You're going to be editing this like cream up, put down the freaking palette, take it away from your face. I'm just going to be like, eh. If for the entire video, cream is like this... Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry! Oh, good! Cha! Did you see the difference that just made in the center of my nose? It's good, right? Like, I just went like this. I, <gasps> I am... I think, like this is my perspective, Armani makes some of the best face products. To me, their stuff is just the gold standard. Come shopping with me someday, will you? Yeah. Because oh, mate, I got your Armani. I've got a, a book of Armani things you need. What was the name of that? Armani High Precision Retouch in three. And I haven't heard anyone on YouTube talk about this. It's it's not like I feel like Cream is really good for that, by the way. <laughs> if you don't watch Cream's channel, which you probably do because she's my best friend, you need to watch it because. Everyone on YouTube just copies each other a lot, I think. Whereas Karima actually is very happy to say, I don't like what everyone else is using. Here's this thing that nobody's talking about that is amazing. Mm. If you want just a different opinion of different products and not repetitive stuff. Stop. She's very knowledgeable. Stop. No, you stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> You're so nice. You're so nice. So nice. Might do a little bit of powder under my eyes and then do some cream. 
contour, brow, that sort of thing. Yep. So just a little bit of powder under the eyes because these might crease a bit. I'm just doing a bit of lip balm because eyes dry. Bam! Do you know what I did the other day? I ran out of the Laura Mercier, um, what do you call it? Laura Mercier powder that everyone's using. And I had been using that under my eyes. And then I was like, wait, hold on a second. I actually have the Secret Brightening Powder. I love Secret Brightening and Powder. And I used to really love this for my eyes. Well, out I took it and I did a little bit of baking with it. Nothing major, you know. And it was beautiful. Yeah. Way I better mean, than my RCMA Color Powder. Way better than Laura Mercier Face Powder. Just Translucent, yeah. I love Secret Brightening Powder. I feel like it's actually one of those gems that's just undiscovered. I'm really liking my brows lately because I've them tinted and I just feel they're so much easier to fill in yeah I'm spending so much less time on them and also when I wake up in the morning yeah I don't feel like the biggest gremlin that ever lived mm -hmm. because you kind of have brows already there yeah this is good information well done Miss Yang what was what was that quote from Je Jenna Marbles video um <laughs> oh no no I know what artist what artist what artist yeah oh, what artist yeah, is your is your dog will it grow Oh, <laughs> your cermit, it will not grow. <laughs> if you do not water your cermit, it will not grow. That's one of my favorite videos on the internet. I'm just using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade on my eyebrows, but I had to put in some Jerline because once again, she dry every day. Every day. All right, for my brows, I'm going to use the Pony Effect Brow Pencil. I purchased this in last time. Last time I was in Korea. That one time I was in Korea. <laughs> when I was in Korea, yeah. I like that their packaging is navy and rose gold. I haven't seen that before. So chic. So chic. So chic. <laughs> my brows totally depend on my level of restraint of the day. Do you find yourself going too far some days and then? Every day. Like, I, I don't know, in my hand, it just takes hold, and I'm like, oh my god! Last night you were in my room. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we've got a good structured brow going on, quite a, a clean, perfect face. Yes. And shall we move on to a bit of contour? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm gonna try the Smashbox contour stick. I've heard good things about this. Should, this, should I try it? I kind of want to try too. Okay, let's give it a go. I don't know how much to use, so I could be doing this very wrong, but YOLO! It looks like a good color. I think it's a great color. Yeah. I worry for how it will translate. Oh, double-ended it comes back first. We're both in love. Mine is Chink. manky. Mine is manky and hers is clean, but we're both in love with the... It Cosmetics double-ended brushes. These are amazing. If you can get your hands on one, do. In general, It Cosmetics synthetics, bomb. This is a great color. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? It's not too ashy. It's not hard to work with, you know? Mm. Oh, this is good for the nose, Creamer. Yeah? Maybe I'll do a bit of my tip. <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> ah! I want to put just a little bit of a, a more ashy contour just in the hollow of my cheekbone because it mm -hmm. is quite a chiseled look. I really like the It Cosmetics um, contour powders. I have another palette that I really like as well. Yeah, they do a good contour. Like, not too warm. Yeah. While I'm here, I'm actually going to take a bit of that um, same contour and just run it through my socket. So I'm not going to do... A, I really love these on the eyes. Yeah. I'm not going to do a big eye today. This is just a very simple eye. V-Styler. <laughs> Did you just beatbox? <laughs> I am impressed. Are you impressed? We're not actually doing an eye today. It's going to be very simple and the focus is on the, the lip. lip. What are you doing? So I think what I might do is just smudge a little bit of brown liner around the eye. Um, and with that bit of socket shading, I think it'll just look, you know, done, understated. But not done. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to go in with the Zoeva Taupe palette and use the shade Gallery, which is right there. And put a little bit of that through my socket. Oh, oh, itchy my brow. Oh, got it. 
You just need to stab it, don't you? Yeah. So you don't like smudge the brow fleekness. I'm just smudging out these edges so that it keeps it looking soft. I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl. These are the Shoot and Mirror Curlers. Me too. I'm using the Surratt ones that belong to Karima. And they. I never really like curling my lashes because curlers like this don't fit my eyes. But these actually fit my eyes. I think it's because they're more of an Asian eye shape. Yeah, mm. it's, it's a flatter, flatter shape. And once I've curled my lashes, I'm just going to tight line again with that brown pencil. I'm just going to go in with mascara now. I'm using the Lancome Grandiose again because I love it. Oh, I love this mascara so much. That looks amazing on you. Like, it just suits my lashes. That's actually absurd how amazing your lashes look right now. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to use the MAC Hot and Naughty Lash. Don't want my lashes to take over this look. Mm. I just want to... Just to find them. Okay, so I'm just going to add a really tiny little bit of a very nothing blush. This is um, the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. It's a very nothing shade. It's not going to detract from my lip. Uh, I'm not going to use a blush because I'm one of those people that gets naturally quite pink in the cheeks. So I'm kind of just working against me. I am going to go in with a ton of highlight though, I've decided. Yeah. As per usual. Yeah. Um, this is from the new, is it MAC Spotlight Collection? Spotlight? And it's called yeah. Double Gleam. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette and use the highlight in that. Love this. Cream actually bought this for me. Because she's my friend. She gave me a present. I thought actually when I saw it, I'm like, Michelle will like this. Mm. You were so right as well. It's one of my favorite products probably of all time. I find it really stressful when people are like, if you had to pick 10 favorite products of all time, what are they? No, th those kind of questions keep me up at night. <laughs> I'm not good at choice questions in general. You know when somebody goes, if you um, had to choose between being blind or deaf, it stresses me out so hypothetical. Adrian so. hates hypotheticals too. I love them. Oh my God, I could do them all day long. <laughs> Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck <laughs> Or 100 duck-sized horses. I'm a very visual person. So in my head, I'm like squaring up to this duck horse. And I'm like, could I take him? But a duck-sized horse is a... Oh, see, here I go. I can't. I can't do it. It's so stressful. So that's all we're going to do for the eyes right now. We're keeping it very simple and chic today because the focus is all about the lips. We're using some amazing new lipsticks from Rimmel today. So we're using the Only One collection. I have the mattes in my hand here and Karima has the satin. So last year they released the satin range of the Only One lipstick and they've just added some nude shades which are really, really nice, very wearable everyday shades. My favorite is Ain't No Other, I think it's called. Ain't No Other. Yeah, it's a very peachy nude. We'll put in some swatches for you guys anyway to have a look. It's gorgeous. So those are the nudes that they've added to the original Only One collection. But actually today, we are talking about the Only One matte collection. And what's really interesting about these is that they feel the same as the satin lipsticks. They're hydrating on the lips. You've got a nice slip between your lips. Yeah. But they look completely matte. So if you love the look of a liquid lipstick, but the, the feeling on your lips or the cracking or the crumbling is getting to you, might be worth checking these out. Today I'm going to be using, uh, I want to go for like a deep, vampy, kind of trendy shade. So I'm going to go with 750 Look Who's Talking. Amazing. And I'm going to go with the shade 500 Take the Stage. This is a really punchy, vibrant, bright red, which I think is a very chic color. It's almost like we're doing two different kinds of reds. You're doing a very fashion, like deep burgundy yeah. red, and I'm doing that bright, punchy, like summery red. So this one's got almost like a brick brown undertone. Um, and Michelle's is more of a classic bright like pillar box red. Yeah, that will make your teeth look like woo, super yeah. white. So I'm just gonna apply this out of the bullet. The bullet has a really nice shape. It's kind of yeah. like slanted, so you can really get up into those curves of your lip without a lip liner. I'm getting an almost um almost like a 90s supermodel vibe from yeah, this. Yeah, I just feel like it's fashion, yeah. like chic. And as you can see, you don't need to work hard to get a completely opaque colour. These are very punchy. Great Straight statement red. pieces, yeah. So these lip colors are formulated with an emollient oil inside. So despite looking very matte, it's not throwing any shine at all, they do have a bit of a slip and an emollient when you press your lips together, which is really far more comfortable to wear as opposed to something like a liquid lip. Yeah, I feel like so many people are just getting over that really chalky, dry, feeling lip even yeah. though liquid lipsticks look great it's just not practical or comfortable so these are a great alternative for you yeah and you know what i find as well liquid lips they don't tend to reapply well throughout the day mm -mm. they're one of those things that you kind of need to remove it entirely to get 
a good application again. Yeah. Whereas with this, you can just sort of add throughout the day, you can dab it on as a stain. And texturally, it sits really beautifully on the lips. You can see now why we went for quite a simple eye because the lips says it all, right? I love this that is shade so cool. on you. I, I know. It's so far, Sean. This was um, Michelle's idea. Good idea, Michelle. She was so, so like, oh, that color won't suit me. It won't suit my skin tone. And I was like, no, that is going to look so chic and fashion on you. <laughs> so this is the finished look a really simple and chic eye paired with a really bold lip i love how this looks it's a very simple and chic way to wear your makeup but still look super polished we also did a video over on Karima's channel it's another chatty get ready with us that one is also simple but it's more beachy and relaxed with sort of wavy hair and bronze skin so yeah, we'll link that in the description. Yeah, of course. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and become part of the family. And of course, check out Karima's video. I always love collabing with Karima. I'll leave a couple of our other collabs in the corner and in the description box. We always have so much fun yeah, filming. And do. you might be seeing a few more videos from us coming up very soon. Yeah. <coughs> Wine and chats. <coughs> All right, also. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you again very soon. We will talk to you again very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I like, had this odd thing where I did my hand <laughs> and then you said something else. I was like, oh. <gasps> I feel like this is a story we should tell. So this morning, Michelle and I went to this cafe for a bit of a breakfast brunch sort of thing. And I asked for two pieces of toast. One with Vegemite. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like it. Straya. <laughs> Straya. One with Vegemite and one with jam. I think there must have been some sort of miscommunication because... I received two toasts with jam and then I bit into the toast and mm. I realized that what she had done is she'd buttered each piece of bread, she'd put on Vegemite and then she'd put on jam. <laughs> Overload! Uh, uh, does anyone eat Vegemite like this? Nobody eats Vegemite anyway because it's disgusting. Mm -hmm, disagree. Is it from a tree? <laughs> is Vegemite from a tree? <laughs> it grows and you just no. every spring <laughs> I mean isn't it made of the the secretion of a tree or am I did I just have a weird dream one night and decide that Vegemite was the secretion of a tree I think that's maple syrup that's the one yeah catch me outside how about that <laughs> I wasn't wrong I was just not right